Federalnya Služba Bezopasnosti found out that U.S. intelligence agencies learned of the planned North Fleet missile test and can be expected to order the submarine force to collect operational intelligence during the test. Your commando team was very active and successful in collecting information about U.S. ship movements. You must intercept USS Albany. She will be leaving U.S. Naval Submarine Base in New London, Connecticut to spy on the upcoming missile test in the Barents operating areas. Albany was seen by the commando team getting underway at 0800 and should be just leaving Long Island Sound on an easterly course. AGI-169 Tavria is stationed along the submarine transit route from Long Island Sound and will help direct you to the enemy track. Move northwest to come close to the transit lane as permitted by water depth and ASW patrols. Remain at periscope depth as much as possible to gain ESM or visual contact. Do not go near the surface ships. If the U.S. submarine is detected on the surface, stay within four nautical miles to enable sonar detection when the submarine dives. Your main objective is to establish track against this submarine to determine whether it threatens to compromise the missile test. Your secondary goal is to remain covert. If USCO knows about your presence, he will obtain assistance to break contact. However, even if U.S. forces detect you, tracking the U.S. submarine will be very valuable. While we plan our hostile action against the U.S. sometime soon, a premature attack would give us a big disadvantage. You must big conduct disadvantage. no offensive attacks. Because you have not been detected on this patrol, the enemy is only conducting routine and perfunctory ASW patrols. Horoji Ohoti. Well, well, hello everyone. FPS Chazel here. Welcome back to Let's Play. Wow, I'm really freaking skimming the bottom there. Good goivy. Okay. Uh, we are to find the USS Albany and track her until this point. Um... So this is going to drag for sure. Uh, that is a very active Special Forces team. They went all the way from freaking Nova Scotia to down here. That's a, that's a pretty far distance. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't be too hard if you had faked papers, and this is before. You needed a passport to go from Canada to the U.S., so that would have been easier as well. But yeah, still, that's a very, very ambitious mission. Okay, give me up. Well, no, not that. They do that. Go to depth. Zero, three, six meters. Depth control I'm just like, line. oh, it's gonna dip a skit. Uh, 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 Good. Look at that. Uh, stop. A bit. It's scraping the tail in the dust. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that other video was very short, so I decided to just make another video here. Um, we'll go for a little bit. I'm just gonna try and keep it around 20 minutes for tomorrow for total videos. Or today, whenever these are uploaded, whenever you see this crap. Um, <laughs> this crap, okay. Uh, so it's rather quiet out here, but we've got something on the tow already. It's saying Los Angeles, but it could be anything with a 60 hertz first frequency. But it is possible, I mean, that's the direction we're trying to look for. I, I, I do like how it started me out so shallow when it's like, you should maintain periscope depth as much as possible. Try and gain ESM or visual contact. <laughs> All that kind of crap. So let's go up to periscope depth then, shall we? And try and uh, establish contact here. Uh, I'm sure I could get a little more acuity if I let this out slightly further. I'm going to try and aim for 120 meters and see what we get. On that length of Todd. <laughs> was it Hiroshi Ahoti or something like that? I was already forget, man. Alright, uh. Yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is most certainly not a Los Angeles. Excuse me, sir. 
a 6160. That might be a warship. Uh, frequency sheet, hang on. Been working on some advanced tutorials, so I got my frequency sheet on my couch because I'm doing some stuff with it, so I'm going to go out to my couch and get my frequency sheet. 6160 is why we are here. And 6160 is a uh, it's about a 50/50 shot of being a warship or a civilian, or like a cargo. It's most. I'm. It's probably a cargo ship or something. But who knows? Who knows for certain? But yeah, uh, and all those pictures were sea wolves too. Anyway, so whatever. Uh, yeah, sure. Raise this crap. Do these two at first and see what we get. It's daytime. Very bright out. <laughs> but yeah, ambitious freaking paratroopers all the way up there and down here received. like paratroopers whatever they are spetsnaz dual radio you've approached the intercept point listen for the u.s sub in your area and begin your track mark very well now we're on the vepper uh now that that does not mean viper that actually means warthog uh that's not a transliteration of like viper it's actually vepper which means warthog Right? It's Warhog, isn't it? I think so. It's not a Viper. That's not what it is. <laughs> so all we're seeing right now on the ESM is a, a cargo ship. So I'm just going to go... I can tell right now that that's the real one. So I'm going to go ahead and drop Sierra 1. Drop that. So we got Sierra 2 over here. Uh, that can be merged with EO 1, I suppose. Uh, ba -ba it's very distant. I don't know what its actual speed is or anything like that. Uh, probably heading this way. It's probably a decent bet that it's like heading this way or something, but I just don't know what it's doing. Don't know what it's doing, man. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and lower that for a sec. Raise the scope. Let's see what we got going on around here. No one was alerted to my presence in the last mission, so shouldn't have to really worry about ASW patrols. I mean, does the U.S. really conduct ASW patrols in its own territorial waters? I don't really think so, but this, I guess this is like a saving grace of the Akula in this game, is that it has 9.3 times optics, which is higher than the American subs. Uh, what am I expecting the bearing? Oh, God, I hate that so much. Just give me the bearing. It's right there. So, there's a bearing line, dude. So 300-ish. Might be able to get visual contact on this cargo ship. Yep. Visual contact. And, the, of course, the visual marker is so bugged in this damn game. It doesn't even... know. Oh, it actually marked it. Okay. It doesn't tell you that it marks it like in uh, other games. Is that even it? Looks like there's... Oh, there's something else over there, too. What do I have to do to get a Mac from you? Just mark all the bearings and azimuthal angles or whatever. Angle of attack. Give me something. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> it's very annoying. So, 282. Somewhere way the hell out at Pearl. You know, like freaking out there. Maybe not that far, but out there. Somewhere on that bearing is another ship. Do, 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 do. Quick little sweep. I can zoom it out a little bit for increased. Hello, bulbous ass tote array canister thing. <laughs> uh, let's see. A quick sweep. Yeah, I'm not expecting to see any P3s or Seahawks, but that's not to say they're not out here and around drilling or something. Um,. It looks rather clear. Okay, so I'm just going to stick with that then. Lower this. And, uh... Yeah, I'm just going to keep on keeping on, man. What kind of depths are we looking at? Oh, it's going to get really shallow. So I'm not going to be getting too far into that. I wish I could plot, like, contours of, like, depth on here. That would be very nice. Um, there's, like, a constant 40-meter curve around here. And then, like, a constant 30-meter. Let's try and... Put some uh, marks around this constant 30 meter curve here. Well, let's see. So I'm expecting him to like probably dive when he gets around that point. This constant 30 meter 
fathom here or whatever you want to call it. Oh, it really goes uh, up north here, doesn't it? Yeah, it's really going up there. <laughs> okay, there you go. There's your little 30 meter fathom or whatever. Um, whatever you want to call that. So I'm probably going to try and stay outside of that little 30 meter fathom kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, head off in that direction. I might just head like due west, honestly. Due west just might be a good way to head. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's head due west. Ruder left, steer course two. Let's Seven, see what we two. get going off Steering that way. Mm. So we're still seeing the cargo ship. Very good. Oh, very good. Oh, I had some sushi for dinner tonight. I just got it in me, man. I, I saw my coworkers going to lunch earlier today. I thought they were going to sushi, but I don't think they did. I was like, oh, I could go for sushi. So I, I bought some sushi and I got back, got my soy sauce out, got it ready to dip it in my soy sauce. But uh, this happens every so often. The soy sauce like starts fermenting and then it tastes like shit and it just tasted so bad. I was like, ugh. I mean, I guess I get it's already fermented, but then something else happens to it and it tastes particularly bitter and not like good soy sauce. So it just made my sushi taste like crap. It kind of just ruined the whole experience. I was like, ugh, god damn it. Just wanted me some good soy sauce and some good sushi. So now I gotta buy some more soy sauce. And that was like the big old jug too. I might as well just buy the small ones. Because I don't use it quick enough to go through. Well, okay, I'm seeing myself. <laughs> and it's calling myself a stingray torpedo. Still call myself a stingray torpedo. I think it will always forever call myself a stingray torpedo then. <laughs> That's weird. It's interesting. It seems to be kind of on the verge of washing out. Honestly, this is really very shallow for toad ops. Probably would not have a toad deployed here in real life, but who knows, maybe. Might as well get a little... I'm not going to go too crazy on the time speed up here because I don't want to freaking like, miss out on seeing this guy. we got to make contact with this dude. He's probably going to be coming right through here because this is like a little deep channel. So that's probably a good good little thing to mark up and check out. Head off in that direction there. It's going to take me freaking like over two hours just to get here. So I don't know. He's I'm probably going to make contact with him before then. I have to go really super quiet. Maintain my distance at first or something. I don't know. It's going to be weird getting into position. Should probably try and get in front of him and let him come to me to some degree. That kind of rhymed. <laughs> Didn't really mean for it to, but it did. Riz. Electronics mask. Senior watch. Hi. Oh, new track. I think that's this other cargo ship I just found for some reason. Oh, Vishnaya. <laughs> it's the Vishnaya Bichnaya. Cool. Did I see the Vishnaya before? 289. Let's go ahead and take a peek. I should probably stay three knots, shouldn't I? Honestly, I don't know. Let's try and take a look at this Vishnaya, Bichnaya. We're going down. No, we're not doing that. We're not starting that right now. <laughs> yeah, if you saw that, yeah, that's what happened. Been digging that song lately. All right, there's your Vishnaya. God, just give me the answer. <laughs> like Billy Madison, just give me the mark, man. Give me the mark. It's all I want, man. All I want's a mark. And then this guy has changed course. Looks like he's probably going in. That's what she said. Um, <laughs> I think I saw this guy earlier, but I didn't think it was the Vishnu. So he's probably like right around there, right up in it. Right up in that jizness. What did I just say? I don't know. Alright, lower that. Let's raise this radio mast. I might... Extend the radio antenna. I know you get blamed regardless of whether or not... Okay, that was loud. Whether or not you have it up, but... Who knows if the V-Snap is going to want to tell me something or whatever. Just lower that. And take out a little bit of that zoom. What is up with these odd freaking zoom numbers, man? Like, zoom is not... There isn't, like, an American zoom and a metric zoom. There's just zoom, man. That's all it is. It's just a ratio of field of views. That's all it is. Um, sub... Sub ace... Subbase. <laughs> I realize that's supposed to be subbase. I'm giving them a hard time. What is that like? A freaking an enzyme? A subbase? Sounds like it would be an enzyme. 
Okay. Um, all you chemistry nerds, yay, shout out. Enzymes, aces, whatever. <laughs> I don't know jack about chemistry. Well, as much as I need to know to understand what I do. Alrighty then. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we're good for now. That's Rhode Island. Okay. I've been to the Rhode Island airport before. I was getting the flu. Anyway, I'm gonna... I'm going to stop it here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. And uh, I guess, yay, technically three Dangerous Waters videos this week. But uh, yeah, look for advanced Dangerous Waters tutorials to start coming out soon. So see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.